dear students of 9A and 9B, today's points mentioned in the book. Please look at the book. Assembly Hall. Second point, the Great Bath. The Great Bath. Not Bath. It is Great Bath. It is Great Bar. The Great Bath, the Great Granary, Dockyard, Importance of the Citadel. So these are the points, my dear students. Now the first point, Assembly Hall. What is Assembly Hall? Assembly Hall was a magnificent structure during the Harappa and Mahanjadaro age. This was actually uh, used as, you know, important uh, uh, talking, important discussions. And it is also said that the Assembly Hall was the hall for religious, uh, you know, discussions. And a number of people were uh, invited in the uh, invited uh, uh, in order to attend the meeting conferences, religious conferences in the assembly hall, because the assembly hall uh, had uh, 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 had a large courtyard in front of the assembly hall. There was a system of a good good sitting accommodation. Besides. Its structure also was very. Uh, 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 its structure also was very good. What was about it? It had thick walls, thick walls, and was supported by you know uh, five pillars. And each row there were four pillars. Besides, the building was most probably, uh, most probably, uh, constructed. Uh, for the uh, constructed in order to uh, attain meetings, as I mentioned earlier, in order to attain, in order to conduct meetings, seminars, religious discussions, and it is it was used as prayer hall. That's why it is also said that important decisions were taken. Important decisions were taken from this assembly hall. People were allowed to take part in the meetings, in the religious discussions. And it is also said that the assembly hall was also discovered on citadel. This was, it was constructed on the citadel. Now the great bath, great bath. What is great bath? It was actually a swimming pool. It was also uh, uh, constructed on the citadel. As I mentioned you earlier, that the people of Citadel, they were rich, prosperous, wealthy, and naturally they constructed a, a great bath for their personal uses. They all used it, especially when they, you know, worshipped their uh, gods, goddesses. Before worshipping their god and goddesses, they took bath from the uh, great bath, and there were two rooms, uh, one room for the male and one for the female, male and one for the female. So there was a wall between the two rooms, the room of male, the room for women, the room for female. But both of them uh, would uh, take bath separately and uh, ladies were allowed first to take bath and then the, you know, male, male were allowed to take part, to take bath from the you know great bath. Now, what was about the system of the great bath? A very interesting building found. It is also found at the citadel of Mahanjodaro. What is this? It is the great bath. The great bath. The building is made of you know bricks and coated with natural tar. At the center. It is a swimming pool like structure with flights of steps leading to it from the both sides and the size of the pool itself is about 12 meter in length and 7 meter in wide 
and 25 meter in depth. So this is the Great Park, a, a remarkable discovery from the age of Harappa and Mahanjadaro and it was constructed on the raised platform means on the citadel. The water could be drained out through one channel. There was a channel, there was a system of uh, a channel. Uh, the water, the water, the usable water drained out through that very channel and then refilled through another duct. So the tar, you know, the tar and gypsum mortar between the bricks made, made sure no water leaked out. There are galleries and there are galleries and room around the swimming pool. Galleries and room around the swimming pool. Why? Because it is possible that the great bath was used for ritual bathing. Galleries were because some people who uh, waited for taking bath, they would have to uh, sit there. And some of them who were, you know, who were, who were, who some of them who who basically uh, took bath for worshipping for worshipping or for you know uh, warrior class people rich uh, or brahmin class people worshippers of gods and goddesses they were allowed to take part uh, as soon as uh, male uh, female as soon as female means women uh, completed their uh, completed their bathing, they were allowed to take bath. They were allowed to take their baths. So baths reveals the remarkable engineering skill during that time, and hence it is still survived, survived more than five hundred years. Why? Because of peace. Engineering is good step, a good architecture, good style, a good architecture and good skill of architecture. That's why it is still survived. It is survived for more than five thousand years. What is this? It is the great bath, my dear students. Now, next point: the great granary. The great granary. What is the great granary? The great granary have been found at several sites of India. Several sites, some parts are at present in Pakistan, like Mahanjadaro and Harappa. Mahanjadaro, Kalibanga, Lothal, Harappa, the granaries were huge buildings, huge, huge buildings which were used for strong grains such as wheat, barley, maize, sesame. At the Harappa, there are two rows of six granaries. And to the south of the granaries, working floors consisting of row of circular pattern, brick platforms have been found, discovered, which may have been used for, you know, tracing uh, the grain. There was a huge, you know, uh, ground, real, really concrete ground. These were used for tracing the grains. What a fantastic idea during the age of Harappa and Mohanjadaro. The people found out. It is possible that the grains were collected from the peasants and farmers as tax and stored in the granaries. These granaries were built near the river so that the grains could be transported easily. What a fantastic idea and an idea to increase their trade. They constructed all the granaries beside the river side. Beside the river, they all constructed the granary. Uh, by the riverside. Why? Because they wanted to uh, establish trade with other places. They wanted to uh, supply their goods, supply their uh, products, supply their crops through, you know, boats by using the routes, by using the river routes. That's why most of the granaries were constructed by the river side, by the river side, and by this way, the granaries also played an important role in strengthening trade and commerce during the age of Harappa and Mahanjodaro, my dear students. 
And next point, dockyard. What is dockyard? A brick dockyard connected with a channel to the Gulf of Cambay was discovered at Rothal in Gujarat. A major port of Indus Valley Civilization, the great dockyard was discovered at Lothal in Gujarat. And at the same time, the Lothal also had become a great center of dockyard. Why? Because it also reflected, it also reflected uh, the uh, reflected the works of the contemporary age of the Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. And at the same time, dockyard gives us a message of overseas trade with other countries. The people practiced it. Docks would have been built after a careful study of tides and waves and currents. Because dockyard proved to be age of trade and commerce, flourishment, it means uh, an in, uh, increasement of trade and commerce during the Harappa and Mohenjo-daro age. That's why the people basically who were involved in trade and commerce who were uh, who made earnings were dependent on, dependent on trade and commerce and uh, earnings would come from trade and commerce. They always uh, studied the tides, the currents, the waves of the river so that they must utilize it and uh, uh, could supply could supply their uh, crops from one place to another through by, uh, by boats. That's why dockyards which were constructed by uh, you know by the contemporary uh, people of the Harappa and Mohenjo-daro age uh, proved that they were not only hard working but also intelligent and they had uh, a good uh, they had a, a good habit of earning money they never led they never led an idle life but always worked hard in order to uh, make huge amount of money in order to lead a very modern lifestyle an enjoyable life now Another point that is agriculture, before discussing about agriculture, I would like to highlight certain points, that is the importance of the citadel. What is the importance of the citadel, my dear students? Citadel means a raised platform where rich people lived. Citadel means a, a, a place where people led a modern lifestyle and always isolated themselves from the lower people and that's why lower people were allowed to live uh, lived under the under under the citadel or beneath the citadel because there were two cities upper cities and lower cities upper cities were the places of the rich people, prosperous people, and lower cities were the places of the lower people. Lower people belonging. Lower people means uh, people belonging to lower categories. They lived. They lived. Uh, they, they lived there, and they were deprived of all facilities, of uh, facilities with the uh, rich people uh, during the uh, during the Harappa and Mohenjo-daro age. Uh, that's why. Most of the important things and constructions were discovered from the citadel, like the Great Bank, like Dockyard, like Granaries, like Assembly Hall. These all were discovered from the citadel. That's why citadel means the raised platform played an important role during the age of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. People belonging to a rich a family, rich category. They never, they never sat idle, they worked hard, they continued trade and commerce with other countries by using uh, river routes. That's why a number of granaries, number of granaries and dockyard also were uh, uh, constructed by the riverside and they also experimented, they also studied the nature waves, nature of river waves 
river currents and uh, uh, utilize it uh, and uh, utilize it in order to save time uh, while uh, supplying their uh, crops for, uh, for another place in order to earn, earn a lot of money so not only they uh, not only they are agriculturalists the culture they not only they cultivated good good quality quality crops from their lands but also at the same time earn a lot of money by supplying crops from one place to another by uh, uh, by uh, by uh, you know river routes by river routes and that's why study is always studied waves of river currents of river and uh, uh, in order to uh, save time in order to save time in order to earn much more amount of money within that by saving the time that's why they were not only hard worker hard working people but also intelligent indeed that's why they ultimately became rich prosperous and wealthy and were able to in, in, to lead a very enjoyable life my dear students next day i shall discuss about agriculture economic life of the people of the harappa and mohenjo daro age up to this my dear students thank you